Well, music is an expression, and you know when you're when you're going through your day to day life or your day job or you're doing something monotonous that you do every day, um, you can kind of get distracted or just go through the motions. But when you're on stage under the lights and you're you're doing this thing that's very artistic and expressive, it just locks you. It locks me in to a moment, and I'm I'm very extremely aware of every second that's going on and I'm in every second that's going on and I think that's one of the most addicting uh, and gratifying things about music and to be able to do that with my family members and have some success doing it um, is uh, unexplainable really. Yes, I, I do feel a lot more alive when I'm creating. I mean songwriting is the same way kind of um, as on stage except for on stage is much more vivid, but songwriting, creating something out of nothing, whether you're painting or anything. But for me, songwriting, um, it's, it's, uh, you're very in touch with yourself. Um, you're very in tune with what your, your mind, body, and spirit's doing. You're opening up and these words are falling from the sky, you know, and you're grabbing them and, and you're writing stuff down and the stuff is coming out from, coming out of all that from two years ago that you've stored away or something and you're getting in touch with that. So that's, that's very, writing is another good example of live, having that moment, living in that moment. Uh, Plain Loud and Clear is a song about um, searching for truth and uh, and finding that truth, whether it be spiritual truth or true love or some type of truth that we all seek for, and and finally finding that and and then not wanting to let that go. That moment when it's it all makes sense. Picking up the pieces, laying on the track. Once I fell to pieces, never looking back. Now you got me on a tight road, looking at the stars. Yeah. I'm happy where you are. Picking up the pieces, fucking up the set. Work with fall the pieces. I'd have no regret, regret, regret now. You got me on a tight road, looking at the stars. I'm happy. I don't want to ever leave a hand oh, I just want you Playing loud and Picking up the pieces, laying 
Laying on the track As I've kind of grown older in this songwriting process, I start to notice these times when I'm about ready to write a song. I can tell when I'm about write, ready to write a song. And it's just like words start popping off of a page or a newspaper or I'll be in a conversation and, and certain words that I hear every day will have more meaning and they'll, they'll be more beautiful, they'll feel more elegant and then I know that I'm about ready to write a song. That's... I um, am a feeler. There's thinkers and there's feelers and there's people on the fence. I feel more than I think. Uh, that's how I guide myself through life and that's how I experience music and that's kind of how I write music and play music. So, Evil Lives is a song about um, investing your, your life, uh, your heart into someone, some significant other and then uh, them telling you that uh, they no longer want to be a part of your life anymore, someone that you love, and them telling you that um, they don't longer want to be a part of your life. And, and the craziness that ensues afterwards. Come to the place that we know Out in the space that we go out Out in the waves of people now Out in the place to meet you Hurry the face I'm see through Howling the way I do inside But your face beautiful And we shake and we go on our way And we lead us our evil Out of the way of the ego Rhyming the reason equal In the words that leave our mouths And we go out and we say all I pour another round again I'm coming never leaving My family. My family has uh, impacted me the most by far. I'm a third generation musician, so um, I always, music has already always been a huge part of my life. They've never discouraged me, and they've always been really honest and supportive as well. Just my friends and family and my experience are my musical influences. I really don't try to s sound like anyone else. I mean, I have people that I love to listen to, but I don't kind of dissect what they're doing and, and try to put my own spin on it. I really just try to uh, be as unique as possible, uh, as humanly possible. There's probably some um, influential work in there, but it's not on purpose. I just released a, an EP called Confessions. Um, I'm releasing a live uh, full band album um, this spring. 
and I started a side project with Kara Cole called Fan the Flame um, this, at the start of this year. So, Beating Around the Bush is a, a song that uh, I always tell the audience uh, was co-written by my subconscious and my super ego and the, the chakra in the loin area, right in the groin area. Um, it's just one of those songs that, um, you know, I'm not afraid to say what I'm thinking and feeling at any time. And, and since I'm a musician, then I get to say things like that for, for a living and get away with it. So. Who knows you better than you know yourself? I got a knack for the nickel baby top of the shelf. I like smiling. I don't like beating around the bush. Pick up the paper, baby, nothing knows. I got a TV set, but I seldom use. I don't like loathing. I don't like being a lie to. Well, keep turning, it could never stop. Power got the money, and we got the clock. Going 90 miles an hour down the freeway, wow Pedal to the floor, I get free somehow yeah. I'm trying my best just to figure you out Since so you're beating my chest, you're the fire in my mouth I still like smiling I like tears Ran off your dress Who knows you better than you know yourself If it isn't true, baby, it's no one else No time to be quiet No time for beating around the bush Bush, 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 bush Who loves you, baby? Who loves you, baby? Who loves you, baby? Who loves you, 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 who you, who loves 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 no time for beating around the bush. My biggest dream is that someone comes to my show and has some sort of epiphany, something inside them that makes them want to do what I'm doing or say what I'm saying or feel how I'm feeling and they and then they go do it on a diff, on a on a high level and then it just keeps keeps going on from there. <laughs>